Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another time here. Welcome to another time in the upper room and an opportunity to pray. Um, we're doing this, starting through the book of Proverbs as we lead ourselves in the place of prayer. And we'll be in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 14 for a while. I'm hoping we can move on from there today, tomorrow. But what we, one of the things we've learned from it is that there's a need for us to be instructed in righteousness, right? It's not just automatic, you know. A lot of lack of education, a lot of ignorance has made people to live short of what God will have us leave where God will have us be. You know, I remember uh, doing a teaching on righteousness a while ago and some was all about, oh, positional righteousness, all of that stuff. Uh -uh. There are two kinds of righteousness. There's a righteousness that is, we get by impartation, uh, by, uh, we get just by the reason of coming to Christ. Again, that's Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. He who knew no sin became sin for us so that we can become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, right? So we, we get a righteousness by association with Christ. Yes, that is a positional righteousness. That's an entrance into the place of grace. However, that is not enough, right? There is a righteousness that our life is supposed to walk out every day. Right, there's a righteousness of our life is supposed to walk out every day. Those that came to John the Baptist, you know, you know, Pope John was telling them what, that they needed to show the works of righteousness. They needed to show the fact that they have they have repented, and he began to tell them some things. That is partly the idea of of, of instruction in righteousness. You know, uh. We, we had when the Gentiles came to faith and all of that, and Paul went back to Jerusalem and they gave the feedback of the mighty work that God was doing and the gentle with the Gentiles and the apostles came together and had some instruction that they had for the new Gentile believers, right? In a sense, that's, a, that, that's part of the instruction in righteousness. They said, oh, we're not going to give them the heavy burden of the law. Right, since we see that God has received them without the law. However, there were this or that that they, they believed they needed to obey, right? That, that that was like an instruction in righteousness, you know. But but the totality of it is the totality of the counsel of God in, in his word, you know, like we see in um uh second Timothy chapter three, verse 17. He said, The word of God is profitable to instruct us in righteousness right in psalm 23 god says he leads us in the path of righteousness for his namesake right that's another we're talking about instructing us directing us in the path of righteousness right and we ought to do that for ourselves also individually when we spend time in god's presence we're learning his ways we're reading his word we're meditating on his word we're expecting him to speak to us through the through his word to instruct us in the path of righteousness you know again that's what jesus christ says he says um but seek first the kingdom of god Seek first the kingdom of God. Let the kingdom of God be writ high in your mind. Let it be your ambition. Let it be your, 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 your goal, your vision, your target in life. You know, whatever you're doing, let it be that the kingdom of God is, is above every other thing. Seek first the kingdom of God. Yes, you want to get married. Yes, you want to have a job. Yes, you want to get rich. But Jesus Christ says, all of those are good. But don't let any of those things that you are seeking ever have priority above the thing that should be first. It's okay to be rich. It's okay to prosper. It's okay to be well. It's okay to be healed. But above every other thing that you want, he's saying seek first the kingdom. Let the kingdom moderate all the other thing that you want. Let the kingdom moderate every other thing that you, you want so that if the things you want will, will require you to compromise the kingdom, then they are not worth having. That's why Jesus Christ will say that it is better for you to plug out one of your eyes, you know, than, than for you, your whole body to go to hell. 
He's saying the kingdom must be priority. We must be above every other thing that we desire, every other thing that we want. He says, seek first the kingdom. Let's pray. Amen. We just sharing this morning, talking about Jesus says, first the kingdom. You know, seek first the kingdom means prioritize the kingdom. Mm. Let the kingdom be priority. You know, he's talking yes. about many, many are called, but few are chosen. The people that are chosen are the people that prioritize the kingdom. Not all the people that prioritize the kingdom. They just get born again. Oh, let your servant not depart in peace, for I've seen the salvation of the Lord. They think that's the end of the story, and they miss God. No, it's not the end. Being born again is not the end of the story. It's the beginning of the no. story. It's yeah. the starting point. Says Jesus is prioritize the right. kingdom. Let the kingdom come first. Let the kingdom, use the kingdom to judge every other thing in your life. Every decision in your life, use the kingdom to judge it. You know, use the kingdom to judge your decision. Use the kingdom to judge your thoughts. Use the kingdom to judge your ambition. Use the kingdom to judge your desire. Use the kingdom to judge your prayer. Use the kingdom to judge the way you spend your time. Say, so seek first the kingdom. As you seek the kingdom, Know that there is a way in the kingdom. The kingdom has a constitution. The kingdom has a way of doing things. Not everything mm. holds. He says, seek yeah. the kingdom and God's right way of doing things. God acceptable way of doing things. Right? Not everything goes in the kingdom. You know, so today you have people that say, oh, homosexual, uh, priest, so oh, you have to love everybody, you have to this. <laughs> That's not the church mm. of God. Because in the church of God, there is a right way of doing things. It's an acceptable mm. way of doing things. Mm. There's a good and there's a bad. There's a right fire and there's the, there's a false fire. There's a strange mm. fire. God will kill yeah. you for strange fire. Right? Mm. It might, might not kill you physically, but you're, you're mm. the person is condemned to, to hell. Right? Yeah. It, it's not what we feel. It's not what we think. It's what does what is God say. Right, it's not what is acceptable to us. Oh, it's our new generation, so let's be friend with everybody. You're okay. friend with everybody. You become a friend of a devil, not you become enemy of enemy God. Of God. So, so the Bible says that they that love the world, you know, friendship says friendship with the with the world, loving of the world is enmity with God. Right, oh. it, it's more important to seek God. So Jesus Christ says, seek oh. first the kingdom. Let the kingdom. Use the kingdom as 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 a mirror, as a yardstick, as a, as a prism, as a yardstick with which you judge everything concerning your life. Right? How does this work for the kingdom? Does this still keep me in line in the kingdom? Right? And his righteousness, his right way of doing things, his set way of doing things, his acceptable way of doing things. You know, and we we need to teach ourselves. If we are seeking the kingdom, we need to teach ourselves. I remind ourselves what are the measuring line, what's the plumb line of the kingdom. Because sometimes we think we're in the kingdom, whereas we're not in the kingdom. So the Bible says, judge yourself to see if you are still in the faith. So we need to remind ourselves these things. It's not just that we have heard it once and we just all go, you know, for whatever reason, sometimes we sometimes we get distracted, sometimes we get carried away, you know, and, and doing other things, so, so much that we're so involved with that thing that we miss the most important things. It's like Mary and Martha, you know, Martha, Martha was doing a good thing. Martha, Martha loved Jesus, just as much as Mary loved Jesus. She was just carried away about the things that are important, but were not the most important at that moment. Yes, Jesus Christ needed to eat, they needed to entertain Jesus. But that was not the most important thing at that point in time. Jesus was speaking. Right? And she was all bothered about that and said, oh, why not Mary come? Now let Mary leave you and come and help me. Jesus Christ, ah, Mary has chosen the most important thing. I can't take it away from her. Mm -hmm. so, so we need to remind ourselves. Sometimes we'll get, we have a good heart, but our good heart takes us astray. You know, uh, so so we need to instruct each other in righteousness. Tell, remind each other the things that go, the things that don't go. What God's measuring line is, what God's plumb line is. We we, we look at it together in the, in the Word of God. You know, we teach ourselves the righteousness of God. We teach ourselves yeah. the right way that God wants us to live, wants us to do things. You know, 
and this line is 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 where I go back to. Uh, we'll, we'll go back, and tomorrow we'll go back to Galatians. We we'll begin to look at again the works of the flesh. You know how we can instruct ourselves and guide ourselves against walking in the works of the flesh. We look at the the fruit. How we can instruct ourselves? It's not going to be just be, we have we have the seed in us, but if we don't if we don't water that seed, we will not get the results. We will not get the fruit of the spirit. We will get the rottenness of the flesh. Then we have the seed of the or, 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 or the seed of the righteousness of God, the seed of of of, of the of, of the holiness of God inside of us. They say need to water that seed, otherwise we'll not get the fruit. All we we'll get is the works of the flesh. Mm. We need to support ourselves so that we can live right and live to the glory of God, so that our light can shine brightly, so that our salt mm. will, will, not, will not lose its saltness. God help oh. us in this name. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, man. We have our, soul. We have not, our soul will not lose its saltness in Jesus' name. Amen. So Amen. Carry the way. We talk. We say, is he, is the power of God that allows us to achieve the yeah. right way. What yeah. we think is right in our sight would be would be abomination in the sight of the Lord. And that's why we need the checks and balance on a regular basis. You know, if we are still in faith, we are drawing back, and anybody can draw back because we are all humane. But through the grace of God, through the power of God, and through our fellowship with God, we get to know where we are, just like Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were just so familiar with God till they enter into wrong hands. And it was because God was still present on their table, that's how they got to know. They, they had insight. And I pray the insight of the Spirit to, to rekindle our own spirits to know where we are in him and to make adjustments so that we can be on the line of righteousness. Amen. Just like I was hearing a song yesterday in one of the services in one of these churches, just said, me and Father, that we sit together in church, you you, you are the one that led the first sermon, uh, the, the first hymn, and I led the last hymn. It doesn't mean we are sitting together in heaven. Absolutely. So, Walk out to your own personal salvation with fear Amen. and trembling. Amen. Amen. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. God bless you. Okay. Okay. Have, a, have a great remaining of the day. See you tomorrow. And God you will. too, by the grace of God. Yes, Shalom. I want to testify. I want to testify Boy, to man. the power of prayers. Amen. There is a particular issue mm. that. He just pop up on his own mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. And we've been waiting on the Lord. But my own is, I've left it for God and yeah. relying on him, continue mm -hmm. to be steadfast in prayers mm -hmm. and in righteousness. Man. And he said, every other thing will be added on us. Yeah. Yesterday we had good news. Amen. Good Amen. news. Yeah. That all things are working to favor us in that same path that we hope and we expected God to move into. Amen. So that is the power of prayers. Amen. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah. So I give God all the glory in testimony. Amen. I know what He has started. He will surely complete. And perfected. Even to the end of age and perfected in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. That's my testimony. Amen. But thank God. Our God mm. is and as we move forward in the grace, every Amen. other thing will be unfolding in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'll give God praise. Thank you, Ma. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for encouraging God bless our faith. You. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.